Oh, Heather and Dylan. Babe! My Aunt Diane was nice enough to say that we could stay with her. Do you want to think you're going to spend some time with my husband? I got you. Prepared. Ever in life. So we're going to leave. We're here. It's a prison. Roller coaster. Heather was getting angry. Heather and Dylan were off riding off on this highway, motorway, whatever you want to call that way. Speed that it could have been caught by the police. Heather didn't give a freaking do that. And yeah, so basically they were going to an unknown destination. Nobody knows where they were off to, but Heather decided to le bounce and then Dylan obviously had to le bounce with her with his white bag which i don't know whether that's a wash bag or what why can't people on this show get like suitcases and real bags and so they have very weird transportation methods of their clothes and that anyway so pro officer comes to aunt diane's house where's dylan he ain't here so they rush over and now he's here <laughs> not on my first day i don't even know your name no, no, no. he was gonna give him a handshake they don't do that they don't play that they don't want to be your friend they don't want to be seen as your friend they don't want any of that okay these people they're strictly business you do something wrong i take you back to jail you do something right i sort of kind of leave you alone but not really i bug you just enough for you to know that you're an ex-inmate and your life is never going to be the same until obviously you're off parole but still the cops and everybody's still going to be looking at you hmm. and you're going to be judged by everybody else for the rest of your life okay sorry i'm nervous i wouldn't know what to do in that situation either i would try to be the nicest person i could be yes i would i would shake your hand i would do whatever because yo yo he does not want to go back to prison after five years i just cut out i got her phone on is it what? or is it uh uh it's on the absolute last thing that I want and my worst nightmare is for Dylan to end up back in prison for a stupid argument at Aunt Diane. Stupid argument and whose fault is that, Heather? Is it not you? <laughs> is it not you that started all this? But I think she thinks it's him that started all this. That's the crazy part. It's been a while. Hold on. Why is she crying? No, but why is she crying why is she crying because at this point everything should be rosy everything should be cool hey hot dylan he is back in town you can do the tan -tan -tan and everything that you want to do why is she crying it's been five years and now he's here all her dreams everything is now reality he's here the only thing that is sad is that they're not in her apartment or house crib whatever she's in because it got flooded other than that, her man is here. Why is she crying? What is so terribly dreadful at that point that would make her so sad, that would make her so angry in that moment? You know, actually when they were filming, the things unfolding. Why was she so frustrated and so angry? Why? Can somebody tell me why? I, I don't understand it. He's gonna do him a favor. Good? He literally says we good i would not say that i would be like oh my gosh thank you so so much like god bless you thank you so much i really 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 do appreciate it but it's just like yeah we good i hope he doesn't think it's because the cameras are following him because these people don't care and also i don't know why the guy was like turn off the phone that you have on you whether it's her phone or your phone turn it off maybe it's because he didn't want to be recorded Mm -hmm. he didn't want to be recorded doing him a favor mm -hmm. but the camera crew is there so i still don't understand he must know that this guy is on television or maybe he doesn't know i don't really know he must know they must all know because when christiana and john were in the restaurant and the parole officer came there the camera crew was right by the table so he must know but they don't care they still have to do their jobs and everything the camera crew stands separate from anything else that's going on in their lives right but yeah this guy pff, i don't know Anyway, thanks, Mr. Parole Officer, so we can see more Dylan. <laughs> All right. We have been together for five years, but this is nothing like the way I imagined it was going to be. I'm so sorry about the commotion with the parole officer. 
humiliating. 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 To come back to that house, look on down in the in the eyes after all that screaming and hoopla la that <laughs> Heather decided decided to do. It, this is humiliating. For real, for real. Let's see if the other aunties are on. I'm glad that you were home, because otherwise I could have been in big trouble. You got that right, sweetheart. I think yeah. it's She's like, you got that right, sweetheart. Like, for real, for real. You would have been in big, 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 big trouble. So much, Aunt Diana. But I promise. Heather's like, thank you so much, Aunt Diana. Aunt Diana's like, yeah. Mm, I guess. <laughs> she doesn't She doesn't pay her no mind. Promise, there's not going to be any problems. I'm going to take care of all my parole responsibilities. Oh, I know that ain't going to be no problem, baby. Okay. You get that right. Y'all better know. There are not going to be any problems. She might be old, but we've all grown older, right? I don't know how old you are, but you grow older with time. It doesn't mean your morals and your thinking capacity and knowing when somebody's playing you and treating you like a fool and knowing when somebody's doing you wrong. It doesn't mean that that all goes away. Unless there's something wrong with your cognitive skills or cognitive whatever, whatever, impairments or whatever. If you have all your wits about you and everything, you will know fake from real and Aunt Diane has not lost Jack her health might not be the greatest but she knows exactly what's going on here and she will not stand for everything and anything oh no not Aunt Diane we stand and Aunt Diane who can stand her ground even at her age hmm. yeah. I'm completely exhausted and terrified to even leave Aunt Diane's house unhappy household amen <laughs> okay, so the Tanta Tana eventually happens. Ah, oh, what a joyous moment. Not. These two aunties are just standing there like. And the other auntie's like, happy household. And on the end, it's like, amen. <laughs> this is too much. This is too much. How do these people feel comfortable? I'm telling you, I keep telling you guys, that's why I don't believe in this shacking up business. The whole traditional thing of marriage, you know, courting, dating, marriage, get to know each other. Get. You see how Heather is? That's a prime example of why you need to take it slow, take it chill. Because why? She has a lot of layers to her personality right so you realize that just on the phone oh she's sexy she's hot she's this she that she's a confidant she's a comforter you know all those things right but when the going gets tough or certain things just trigger her and, and make her feel attacked for some odd reason and you need to court somebody you need to date somebody to know you know when things get interesting financially when things get interesting health wise when things get interesting in life when life is challenging them just a little bit how will they respond what are they like and can i handle that and if the answer is no there will be no ring there will be no wedding and it will be a goodbye you are the weakest link but yeah i don't know i don't know what these people are doing i really don't know especially if you can't see each other physically and be with each other that's why this show absolutely fascinates me why i make so many videos about the couple because it is fascinating that this can even work and it has worked with some people it is just fascinating that it can though it just seems so unnatural anywho if you're not already part of the family make sure you hit mom a stomp and don't to that subscribe button comment because i really want to know what you think like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell while she added i'll see you in the next video which will be tomorrow in the meantime make time for a glorious life it's time to say what living it right god bless mm -hmm.